welcome everybody to the start of the Saucy Scrolls series. Now of course, a good Skyrim Let's Play always starts out with creating the character. But first, let's talk about what this character is going to be. This character is going to be a Khajiit. And he is going to be an assassin. With the, the archetype of, of, a, of, assassin, of an assassin. And we're just going just gonna to choose a sort of... A, uh, sort of one of the presets and then we'll customize from there that looks that looks decent enough so male assassin uh put this skin tone on around there we want him to be quite light so if we can just zoom out by pressing what do we do is it uh what pre what button do we press i've got what but what <laughs> this is a great start what button do we press to zoom out i've completely forgotten oh well we can't zoom out Okay. Uh, so we want him to be quite skinny, normal, 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 normal. And I don't want to spend too long on this. Uh, we'll leave all that the same. Apart from the hair, actually no, we'll leave, we'll leave the we'll leave the hair the same again. I think this could th th this looks pretty pretty good. Apart from the eyes, we need to change the color of the eyes. So what color have we got? Oh, that looks like Sauron eyes. That would be pretty scary if you just saw them in the middle of the night. Because with, with, he's an assassin. I think that suits our assassin character quite well. So, let's finish and name him. Now we need to call him something heroic as he's going to become. Well, something heroic but dark maybe. Um, I think Robert. Robert's not very dark but sounds quite heroic but our, our character could become he's going to start out quite dark obviously from them from them glowing eyes but he could become something pretty pretty heroic I suppose live another life use the Mara statue to choose a new life for yourself this must be it approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin uh, right so we are an assassin so I imagine I got caught crossing the border illegally could be a good alibi for an assassin or an outlaw in the woods or a vigilant of Stendhal. I'm not quite sure what that is. Camping in the woods, shipwrecks off the coast. Uh, an assassin wouldn't be attacked for and left for dead, would they? Let's see. I think camping in the woods because he's an assassin. He's, he might be on the way to a job or something like that. So I think camping in the woods. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. Use the empty bed to begin your new life. This one? Let's have a look around first. Don't think there's anything around here. So anyway, whilst we sleep, we'll talk a little bit about what our character is. Now our character, he likes to be stealthy, because he's an assassin. And he tries to avoid the other people as much as he can until he gets to his main target in which case he will kill but he'll try and do it as stealthily as possible without killing as many people as possible because even though our character is uh, even though Robert is an assassin he does not like he only he only likes to kill a certain amount he doesn't like to kill everybody he just wants to kill as little people as possible oh that's a dragon don't want to encounter him quite yet now our campfire is slightly, slightly raised off the ground, but that's good because it means it'll keep our head warm. So let's let's do a quick, quick inspection of our of our character here. Now he's he's, he's wrapped up quite warm. Yeah, lovely, lovely warm. So what what do we have? We have we have got some fur armor. We've got some apples. Weapon. We just got a longbow. That's fine. We'll equip that. Uh, we'll favor it as well. And then we've just got some some lovely light armor. Very light armor, in fact. Just some fur, fur stuff. We've got some potions, and we've got some decent food, which is good. So we really don't have very much. But do we? What's in these? There's a sack over here. See, just a large. Ah, here we go. Some gold, some garnets, uh, some food. We can cook that. Lock picks, uh, even more food. Archery ring. We'll definitely wear that. Um. We need to. Uh, we can take that to eat, and then we can. I suppose we can sell off some of these. Oh, I've just equipped it. Oh well, we'll sell off some of these, and we've got some wine as well. So if we go back, we don't want to equip that. 
We want to equip that because we're using our bow. Which is fine. That's fine. Uh, we've got a woodcutter's axe here. We'll take that. That could be useful in the future. And we have a lantern, but we can't, can't do anything with it. Now, we do have a cooking pot, so I suppose we should probably cook some stuff up. Considering we've just got some food. If we can cook any... Oh, no, we can't walk, cook anything up. That's... That's not quite yet. Now, we should probably find out where we are. So, we are near Helgen. Uh, in between Whiterun and Helgen. And what quest have we got? Live another life. Find the dragon's victim inside Helgen. I woke this morning to the sounds of battle and something terrible. A dragon. Straight out of the legends of old, Helgen has been attacked and destroyed. Smoke and fire choked the skies over the town. Worse still, just before the dragon flew off, a blood-curdling scream echoed through the mountains. Has someone survived the attack? Do they need help? Perhaps they know something about what happened. It seems safe enough to investigate. The dragon flew off past Riverwood going north. Nobody's ever going to believe this. I wonder if anyone in Riverwood saw anything. So that's written in our journal. So I suppose we should probably head head towards the, the, the Helgen. Because if we heard if we heard the attack, it's probably only right to to go and go and help. So which way is it? It's this way, and we can see we can see the time up there in our left corner. So Helgen is is this way. Now we don't have a horse as of yet, which is a shame. But this is a oh, it's a cave. Is this the way in? Helgen Keep. I think it is it. Well, Hel Helgen it'll, it'll lead into Helgen, I suppose. Okay. Looking very, very dark, very dingy. Oh dear. This, this, I, I can hear a bear. Maybe that was the. Maybe that was what the scream was for. Head up here and see if we can see the see the bear. Oh, there's a guy over there. Is that a guy? That looks like a like a bandit or something. Let's see if we can come around here and get the sneak up on them. Oh, the bear is the bear dead? Is that a person? Oh, it's hard. Oh, hard bar. He's got. Oh. Oh dear. We don't have. Oh dear. Oh, he, he seems to be. I'm sorry, hard bar. I didn't. I don't. I don't. I didn't know if you were an enemy or not. I have a feeling you might have attacked me anyway. So, oh no, he's, hit, he's healed himself. That's not good. Come on. Get away. I'm your friend. I really want to be your friend. But, oh dear. Just push you back. Get back, Harbour. No. No, right, we have some potions. We have some potions. Let's favourite these. Drink a couple of them. Come on, we need to go for the head. Come on, one more hit. There we go. Is he down or is he dead? I think he's just down. Oh, who's this? Rayloff? Oh, there's a lantern there. I'll take that. Rayloff. I can't see what was going on here. He seems too... Too trauma traumatized or something to talk? What? No, you don't understand. He's shaking quite violently. Are you alright, my friend? Okay, I'm just gonna leave you there. Bring Rail off a healing potion. There's some some mead. Does that does that count as a healing potion? Uh, right, yeah, I've got I've got one for you. Just, just take that one. There you go. Get out of the cave before it collapses. Okay. Um, are you our friend now? Talos guide you. 
Right, why were you being executed? Seriously? You don't know? That no. was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Oh, right. Yeah, um, Ulfric Stormcloak. Right. The leader of our fight against the Empire. I forget that most people don't know what he looks like. Except for those Imperial Wanted posters. How did you end up as an Imperial prisoner? I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing <laughs> in the south of Eastmarch. The Imperials were waiting for us. As pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one at least. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil. Parade us in front of the Emperor. But then, we stopped in Helgen. And you know the rest. Oh, okay. Right, I, I, I don't think we need time. to ask many more questions, really, to be honest. So, our journal has updated. Get out the cave, okay, we need to get out the cave. That guy's lantern's pretty cool. Did we, we picked up a lantern, didn't we? Uh, where's the lantern gone? Is it miscellaneous? Lantern. I can't equip this, okay. I think... I'm pretty sure we can we can do something with it. We'll, we'll find a use for it. So, back out into the wilderness. Oh, it's a bit chilly. Okay, well, we got out. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Living of a life. I'll wait to know if that. anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. Okay. Wouldn't have made it without your help today. Yeah, I, I, I saved your life, mate. So our camp was literally just up that, it was over there, that hill, so we had a, quite a lucky, quite a lucky spawn there. So let's have a look on the map and check where Riverwood is. Riverwood's right there. Uh, we need to talk to Gerda, so she, she's in Riverwood. That's pretty damn cool. So, this ra- oh, there's a Stormcloak soldier. I'll have some of, some of their mead, and we'll, we'll take their sword as well. Um, I don't think it, right no, not, none of that's going to help us. So if we favourite the sword as well, and then press Q, we can go to. We'll put that as number one, that's number three, and that's number two, because then we can quickly switch between weapons. So I quickly switch, switch there and there, and then there we go. That's pretty cool. So I assume it's just follow this road. Yeah, follow, follow this path down to down to Riverwood, and then we'll find Gerda. And we probably need to, because we're an assassin, we need to probably need to find a line of work. And I'm not quite sure uh, how what sort of line of work an assassin like would be able to. I'm not quite sure where an assassin would be able to find work, but I'm I'm, I'm sure we'll we'll find somewhere. It's going a bit cross country here because our assassin. He's so used to being stealthy, he doesn't want to take the the main road. He wants to he wants to sneak along the along the higher higher paths just in case he finds a an unfriendly character. And these stones look interesting. Guardian stones. So we have the mage, the warrior, and the thief. I think thief sounds closer to closer to an assassin. They're, they're, yeah, they learn stealth skills 20% faster. Okay, I think we'll, we'll accept that sign for now. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. Oh, hello. Here's Raylor. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Thief, eh? It's never too late to take charge of your own fate, you know. Thank you for explaining that to me. I'm going to take the higher road. What time is it, actually? Oh, it, it, it's it's quarter past twelve in the evening. We're in the middle of a massive snowstorm, so there's not much, there's not much sun to be seen out here. 
Now the, the the higher road has sort of ended a bit here, so we're gonna have to just gonna have to make do with the actual main road. But we'll stick to the edges just in case we meet some unfriendly characters. Riverwood can't be far down here. Our character's looking pretty, pretty, pretty cold. Oh, there's uh, there's a wolf over there. Oh, I feel sorry for the wolf. Oh, there's two more. There's two more. Oh, for, oh, ice wolf. Oh, why? Thank you, Rayloff. Uh, we'll take the pelt and we'll take the arrows as well. They're on sort of one sort of heap. There's the there's the other one. Take his pelt as well. And we'll get the one that's up here. And see. Where did we actually hit this one? Is it up here somewhere? Did it fall down the edge? I don't know. Well we don't I, I suppose we don't need it. It's not essential. This is a cool little banner. Let's just say. White run hold. Is White running this direction? Yeah, it's behind behind Riverwood. We decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. That's good. Riverwood sounds like a a, a cozy place to rest from this harsh wind winter winter storm. What day is it actually as well? It's Sunday. Sunday is the seventeenth of the last sea, and I'm not quite sure what that equates to. Girders over there somewhere, and where this this must be Riverwood. Oh, there's a mill over there. There's a mill and a uh, a cool bridge. Is this? They must be custom for uh, some signs here that'll show us where to go. So Helgen is where we just came from, and we can find Solitude, Markov, White Run, and Windhelm in that direction, and Riften in that direction. If we have a look at our map, uh, that's pretty accurate. It's missing out Moorfall and Dawnstar though. Is it? Actually it might not be. Yeah, it is missing them. A Who's dragon. these guys? I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. You should believe her. You, like you know, never you never know. One day you could see a dragon too. Gerda, that's who we're looking for. Good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerda. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerda, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? Something has happened. You're right. Follow me. Did Hold. you not... Come here a minute. I need your help with something. Did you not see that what massive black flying Stand thing over the over the, the roof? Hod, just come here. Raylon, what are you doing here? Ha. I'll be right down. That hot guy looks cool. This, uh, this water looks icy. Very icy. Cool. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know all for How's the dog? Stop. Road. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the south road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. <laughs> Good man. Good little man. All right, can we talk now? New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Oh, okay. See, we've already found some work. Do you have any supplies I could take? Of course. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. Oh, if there's anything else you need, just let me know. Well, I... Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? Oh, well, thank you. I, I don't I don't want to be, like, much of a, much of a hassle, but, I'll, you know, I'll just, I'll just take that and, and that and basically everything you have. There we go. Thank you. 
A dragon attacked Helden and destroyed it. Rayloff and I escaped together. A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. <laughs> yeah. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. No, it was a dragon. Rayloff will tell you the same thing. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. <coughs> we need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. I think I'm kind of already in right. your deck because I've just taken What's most of your on? stuff. You okay, so we need to talk well to the Jarl. So do we want to talk to Hod and get I work or do we want to go to the Yarl of Whiterun? I think the Yarl of Whiterun sounds more interesting to be quite fair. So where do... Yeah, before the storm, talk to the Yarl of Whiterun. Let's read our... Ray lost sister Gerda asked me to take word to the Yarl of Whiterun of the dragon attack on Helgen and to ask the Yarl to send soldiers to protect Riverwood. Well, to be honest, Riverwood looks like it needs <laughs> quite a bit of protecting. Oh, the chicken here. Hello there. So, our our little Khajiit ninja assassin is now ending up being a being like a, a, a courier. To be honest, I think we deserve a rest. Let's go to the inn. Oh, this is a cozy little inn. Orgnar, Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. Hey, Dolphin. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Look now. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Um I'm looking for work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Yeah. You're that visitor been poking around. Can I can I have a room, please? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Oh, my why thank you. Uh this one? Is it this one? Nope, not that one. This one. Yes, this one. Well there's nothing in here, apart from that we have to steal stuff. <laughs> anyway, right, so let's we we'll do have a quick status update check. So we've all got nine arrows. We really need to get some more, some more of them. Uh, for armor, we have. Oh, we've got a ring of smithing. Well, I think we we might sell that. Well, if we sell it, it's worth a hell of a lot of money. So, yeah, we probably we probably could sell that. We've got quite a lot of stuff to sell actually. Maybe we should go to the. Actually, we've got some stuff to eat. So we'll probably we'll eat some of the pies. We'll drink drink some of that. Uh, yeah, that that should that should be fine. So I think I the, I think I saw a blacksmith at the at the at the beginning of the town. So we'll we'll sleep. Um, we've had a long hard day, so we probably need to sleep for a decent like seventeen or eight, even eighteen hours. I think. Let's go to bed. Yeah, feeling tired. Oh, oh, it's a it's a lovely morning, lovely lovely morning. It's you can see you can just sort of feel the sun sort of red redness of the sun just rising there so what power actually if we let's have a look at we have the power of night eye which is improved night vision for 60 seconds maybe we should try this out oh wow so now we can see in the dark oh wow that is, that is actually pretty useful can we yeah there we go that is actually very useful I can prob we'll probably be using that so we'll favorite that uh, oh, we do actually have flames and healing. Probably favourite them as well. We'll key that to four. I oh, know we have to do that, uh, and we'll favourite the flames as well. So we'll key the four. Key. We'll key healing to four, and that to five. Yeah, because then what we can do is if we equip our equip our sword right there. And then press four. We can then heal ourselves and take swipes. And if I press five, I'm going to change that to fire. 
Oh, I, I, I've set fire to your in. Um, I do apologise. I will... I think I'll just leave. It's probably, probably the best best thing to do there. I do apologise. Oh, wow. It's a, oh, it's, it's a much better morning than what than what it was yesterday. Wow. The sun's actually coming out. Oh, this is this is it's a much better morning than that horrible sandstorm that we found yesterday. So I'm guessing this is the this is the smithy. Alvor. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Can, can, can we sell some stuff? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. That's uh, that's pretty cool. So we wanted to sell. I oh know we can't sell. Ah, uh, well we can probably sell the pelt. For a little bit, I suppose. Uh, can we, have we got anything else to sell? Now we haven't really got anything else to sell to to him in in specifics. Uh, need any help? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. I thank you. So All right. I assume it's in in the forge. Uh, iron, iron Whatever dagger, iron dagger. Uh, yes, it's craft man. Not bad. Reminds me when I first started smithing. <laughs> well, I hope I, I wish to become as as good as you. Let's talk you to you. You looking for a new blade? Yeah, well, here's bad, your here's your iron dagger. But it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. The grindstone, okay. I can do that. Aye. Okay. Uh, what we'll do we work? Oh, maybe it's to a fine dagger. Oh, uh, yes. There we go. Bring a tempered dagger to Alvo. We can do that. Iron or steel is what you need. Leave that fancy elven stuff to the elves. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure I will. I've shopped the iron dagger. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. Hi. Where's the rack? Ah, there's the rack. What we making? We're making some some leather. Bring the leather to Alvo. This is actually some good training for when we actually, because I'm pretty sure in the future we're going to have to create our own gear, especially for. Uh, f because we're an assassin, we're gonna have to create some very special gear. You the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the sneaky type. Here's leather. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. A helmet would be good, actually, because I don't actually think... Have we got a helmet on? We have, we have a fur helmet. That's probably not going to be very okay. much... Much help, is it? Uh, so we want to make a fur. What are we making? Uh, let's just check out, check out journal. I've completely forgotten what we're making. We craft a hide helmet. Whatever you need. How do we? Ah, oh, we go to the forge again. Simple and strong. I can forge. Forge hide helmet. Bring the hide helmet to Alvor. You looking for a new blade? Here's one. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Workbench. So we're making the the no the hide helmet. Fine. Yep. Tampered hide helmet I, to album. Mm -hmm. You have talent. Keep Thank working you. at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. I, Why I, don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? <laughs> I thank you. I have one question. What is Skyforge steel?